What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Madden 22 gameplay. As you see right here, we're going to be playing Bam, aka Scheming on the low. Um, he's a seasoned vet. He's been playing this game for probably 10 plus years. I mean, I don't know that I just made that up, but I felt like he's been playing a lot of Madden um, because I always hear stories about him from way back when. So, you know, he's been playing Madden for a while now. He's a good friend of mine. We're both on the West Coast in Cali. And I was streaming this game, as you can tell, on the top corner, it says 183 viewers. Uh, we just matched up in a head-to-head -head game and you know if you're a fan of high scoring games and high scoring offenses this is a game to watch bam is always like unique in the way he plays so you know you're not going to see a lot of meta in this game at all either and if that's something you also like then you know stick till the end and see who wins hit that like button for your boy sub also if you haven't we're trying to stay consistent with the content baby streams and all that and yeah man let's get into this gameplay i'm going to break down this high scoring affair right here guys i'm gonna be honest i don't know what formation this is on defense but he is running some type of dime it's right here we're gonna hit attack the flats and i i love it and i hate it at the same time because the flats are so good but i can't really stop them but that, what i was gonna refer to is i like to start the game off always with that throwing a flat kind of reading the defense you know sometimes you could get predictable with that and i don't want to go through that all the time but you know just how the game is right now how flats are working that's what we're gonna do is right here we kind of get screamed out. I don't know if that was a blitz or contained, but you see him with that under smoke. I, I felt like I had tied in OJ Howard up the seam. We just got George Kittle with that level 50. Finally, man. Wait till we get some game plays right here. We're going to hit Moster on my, that out route. That's a route I just run a lot of the times. Um, if they're blitzing, you could just dump it off, and there's really nothing you can't do. You can't use her that route. Hard flats aren't going to really play it um, unless you throw it late. So it's right here. We're going to just run a nice little street combo trying to attack this cover two and that's what we're going to be able to do lance all worth up the seam lob pass denzel ward has no chance to get there man it's right here guys uh on first play he's gonna hit us over the top he himself has tyree kill running on this fade as you see on the right side of the screen that paf slide fade and this formation is the gun split twins newly added into madden this year and it's pretty nice think of it kind of like as a reverse split close except there you don't have that chance of having three receivers out there and you know bam found a way to glitch it as you see right here we have a pretty nice user nasir adelie boom that's super hard to do in this game but we get a user pick i'm pretty hyped about that and yeah man if you're not using nasir adderley at this at least at this time of moment I don't know what to tell you, but he had Tyree Kill open. We kind of did a nice little stop bait. I knew I would, there was no chance I was going to get back to Tyree Kill. So I just had to make a user play, man, and, you know, it worked out for us. But like I was saying, man, uh, Bam found a way to glitch the ti uh, wide receiver at tight end position. It's right here. We're going to throw this, and I was thinking Tyron may have got there, but just how the users are and especially Tyron's height, thankfully, we did not get picked off. But, yeah, man, me and Bam have played about three times already on the leaderboards. I'm not going to say who is one uh because i got i want you guys to watch this to the end man this game even though we did get a user pick this game is not over by any means at the end we'll talk about those records and all that but right here guys we're gonna hit verticals hit tyree kill and get all the way to the two yard line verticals baby if you haven't watched that video go check it out it's the best play in bunch it's the best play in madden you just motion that wheel route out and it's open versus a lot of coverages um, and you know, we all know about the streaks and verticals, the quick hikes and verticals. Go watch that video if you haven't. Definitely the best play in Madden. It's right here, guys. We're just in goal line and you know, um, we're just trying to sneak it in and we get it in a yard on first down. We're going to go no huddle, you know, trying not to let my opponent set up his defense whatsoever. And boom, we get the second sneak in. Uh, he was in 4-4 split, I believe, and I don't know, man. Only a few handful of people have been able to get goal line stops on me. And, you know, when they do, they come in the most crucial moments because, like I said, man, you can't get held to three. You can't get stopped at all. Otherwise, it's going to be, you know, a long game for you or, you know, just a loss right then and there. So getting that seven right there was pretty big. Um, you know, it was pretty easy as well. So right here, guys, getting in that cover four drop, man. I've seen a lot of, you know, cover three exploiting out of this formation. Um, just like how the way he's been motioning around. So I just want to run a little bit of cover four. It's right here. He's going to lob that. Not the read at all. Maybe a bullet pass would have done the job. 
But in my opinion, he had that corner route going to the left side, Tyreek Hill. Uh, cover four in the zones, you know, any type of zone, man, it's just so hard to play. It's right here, we're going to get in cover three and completely contradict what we just said. We get some nice pressure off that right side, but easy drag. We almost get TGL. We almost get lucky, man. Uh, shout out to TGL. They're running stuff right now on both consoles. And I've ran into a couple of them, and they've popped me, man. But we almost get lucky right there. Almost get a pick. And here we go. Big third down to 10. I feel like I've been playing decent defense. You know, some things have been open, but that's just the way it is in Madden. Right here, we're going to run a little bit of match, and I love this defense. We try to click on, and that was a mistake, man. We accidentally sent the guy too prematurely. I don't have a, you know, a safety there. I'm not running 4-6. That's uh, Jeremiah Wosu, six foot five, six foot two, something like that. 88, 89 speed linebacker. He's a dog, but you know I can't expect him to pick that off. It's right here. He goes up tempo, um, just catch, catches me with a nice little drag, and you you saw me right there getting caught on my user uh, on the D line. And here it goes once more. No huddle, man. No huddle is pretty effective in this game. We're just trying to get some pressure. And this time we actually switch it up into coverage. Everything is bagged right here. I really do like the defense. We get a nice shed by Quiddy Pay. And, you know, it's just random, man. Some plays you're going to get that shed when you play good defense, and some plays you're not. Like, for example, on that third or fourth down, third down, I believe, and when he threw it to Derrick Henry. I try to click on we didn't get a shed i did to be fair i did contain but we were not able to get a shed It's right here we are gonna get dotted uh the first time we adjust out of cover four and he hits us with that inside seam out of texas this formation is pretty unique and pretty good honestly if you could string it together piece it together you know that was a nice little route combo it's just the routes are so effective and then the fact that he has a wide receiver and deshaun jackson right there makes it even better so bam ends up scoring uh, we're still in full position to win this game and look at this already 21 points in the first quarter isn't even over and by the way we are playing on four minute quarters man that's pretty crazy right here back to the wishing well that is bunch in this game we decided to run verticals we don't hit the wheel route but boom we have the tight end we try to get lucky throw a high pass and no not happening jeremiah wosu the same guy that i had just talked about ends up picking us off just not the read at all man he played pretty good defense i believe it probably had the drag coming from the solo side and it probably had the crosser going towards the sideline and you know it just happens man sometimes man you just get addicted to throwing streaks it happens it's right here we are gonna try to play cover four and i'm actually looking at my phone i was just looking at that we were looking at our phone mid play we play good defense again man cover four does look like a really good defense to run versus this and you know it's a nice base defense versus a lot of forms you can't just get away with it versus really really elite players running every down so you know we're gonna have to blitz it's right here we do blitz and we get insta pressure loved seeing that we actually engaged with the d-line oh the o-line excuse me and we were able to get a nice scream but you see the stat line man he's three of ten He's 3 of 10 at the moment. We are playing phenomenal defense. It's just some of those cases, you can't get those picks, can't get off the field. So stat lines really don't matter. It's right here, we're going to send two. We've been mixing it up very, very well. I love how I'm playing on defense right now. The thing is, the send two doesn't register. Quiddy Pay ends up actually, look at what he does, man. You're going to have to rewind that. That really definitely just pissed me off uh watching that back because i didn't even see what happens and he ends up scoring it i'm gonna rewind it in a second i got i want you guys to look at this guy right here um he's in a three wreck he ends up blitzing which you know i'm fine with that then when he's about to shed he runs backwards send two is non-existent in this game guys he ends up spinning us out right here no pursuit and yeah man that's a sign for me to telling you guys don't send two in this game even though it looks it looked phenomenal coverage right there it was amazing coverage but you know, guys, sending two, you're not going to get sheds. And that's how he ends up tying the game. And 28 points in the first quarter. This is going to be a shootout. Oh, man. You hate to see it. You absolutely hate to see it. Uh, it's a tie game. And we have the ball. But yet we have disordered routes. It's right here. We're just going to hit Tyreek. Excuse me. Deshaun Jackson. Um, he has Chase Young in coverage. That's pretty. That's something Bam would do, man. Uh, this defensive setup actually was doing pretty well. Those past two plays. If chase young was gonna guard that drag just so happened that he wasn't and i trusted the read but like i was just saying man uh thankfully we got the momentum off our side for the distorted hot routes because man that could that could mess you up man honestly because i've seen instances as right here he goes crazy with the blitz we're gonna try to go up top and this is where you need george kittle slash kyle pitts man oj howard is a dog i agree but just sometimes, you know, you need that fast one extra speed, two extra speed, whatever it may be. 
But like I was saying, this disordered hot routes can mess you up. I've seen clips. It's right here. We actually had OJ Howard right there that time. But we'll take our drag. I've seen clips where the disordered hot routes have been, you know, on the play permanently because people accidentally hold right trigger to, you know, show their play art. And boom, it's there for the whole play. I can't even imagine if that happens in a tournament game. It's right here. We are going to hit Lance Allworth. Try to get a spin move. But at this time of moment, I had not mastered the spin move. Just a nice dot, though, to get us into the red zone. Right here, guys, we are going to run verticals once more. Favorite play in the game. And boom, there goes OJ Howard. Gets a nice little rack, honestly. You see me uh, highball it. That's maybe, I got kind of got like a semi-speed burst. I didn't think he was going to be able to get there, but I wanted to highball it and try to add. But I just did not have enough. Like, I wasn't there yet into the end zone. So I kind of highballed, and I got a rack animation on it, which was pretty glitchy. Right here, guys, literally what I was telling you, don't send two. I decided to send two again and literally the same it's the same exact play pretty much that just happened um yet we get a stop so in this time of the moment it was a weekend i was sending a lot of two um i now realized you can't do that man it's not really effective way to play defense in this year's game compared to last year last year you could definitely do it this year if you send two the quarterbacks are mobile you're not going to get sheds and last but not least you get pancake that's pretty crazy to say is right here we are going to go get beat up top legerious knee just has no chance and i don't know if that was cover three or cover four and bam end up hitting us with that glitchy glitchy real fade route out of his split twins form that was cover four rewinded it and that's crazy man cover four got beat like that but that just goes to show that you know if you press this year things are going to be given up it's right here we can make a kind of risky read but that's why you don't have dante jackson on your team i do probably get i get pretty lucky right there uh that was a bad pass lead if I, if I will say you know d pass are just not that good of a zone but right there it definitely did make a play and I just i'm something i'm not used to is you know people running cover two i definitely should have waited a little bit thrown it towards the sideline but right here we kind of just undercut him get lucky and look at that man 28 to 21 second quarter only so right here guys we are going to send pressure left side is wide open there goes derrick henry and boom sheesh man he's already down to the 50 yard line once more in the cover four playing a little bit of coverage man i was definitely playing a lot of coverage this game and right here amazing dot sean murphy bunting can we get there no we cannot i don't know why i went for the pick i definitely should have went for the hit stick but nonetheless that was just not going to be you know that nothing i could have done right there man nothing i could have done at there at all it's just the product of being if zones being you know how the way they are um that was just a crazy dot versus my cover four and yeah, maybe if like in a couple days, couple, you know, zone updates, we'll be able to pick that off next time. He's right here. He's going to go into the goal line set. Derrick Henry at fullback. We know who's getting the ball. Can we stop him? Maybe for one down. Nope. Maybe not at all. I thought we were going to stop him. I'll be completely honest. Um, and that just goes to show like there's so many points being scored in this game that I don't even remember what happened in some of the plays. And I'll be honest, guys. This is a vertical simulator, man. I ran verticals so much in this game it's right here we're gonna try to go up top to oj howard and we finally catch it break the tackle can we get to the end zone no we cannot but we will gladly take it at the four yard line because guess what we could clock here he does get ball a half um we'd be in a predicament honestly if we didn't get seven right here or at least three because he does get ball a half like i said um but it, and this puts us in a like scenario to win the game if we score seven here and he doesn't score before half he's going to be able to probably score out of half you know i'll take a 35 35 game with megan and ball either last or you know second to last i will definitely gladly take that it's right here you know that's me just thinking ahead because how the game is at this time but you know the reality of it is not even the second half it's right here we're gonna fall down at the one really smart move and he decides not to use a timeout questionable uh to say the least i definitely would have used that timeout because you know odds are you're gonna score here or at least the next play people are always going to try to score they're not going to like take a knee but you know it'd be like there's a gl not a glitch but like the glitch here would be like you know a sneak and i get stuffed and that's exactly what happens but you know it does get a little scary now because i have two downs to get points and i actually i actually end up calling the timeout because i believe like with 19 18 seconds there's no way he's going to score and here we go man you know how quickly it could turn on you man um first down and goal we're feeling happy we're like yeah we're gonna take this clock down i'd love to get stopped on the second down or first down excuse me to waste more time and then it somehow ends up being fourth and goal we're gonna run this toss we're gonna cut it inside 
and beautiful 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 that's how you perfectly execute it we're gonna be going up into half with a lead right here guys we're gonna be running once more cover three and a is wide open and that's why you don't run cover three you run cover three and you're gonna get seamed steam streak whatever you want to say i was trying to rhyme that deshaun jackson first play out of half i'm not gonna lie to you guys there may be some of you guys that might run split twins after you're done watching this this form is pretty glitchy to say the least right here once more vertical simulator and we're gonna hit the crosser he was kind of bouncing back to the a route we don't get our feet in bounds. That's something about all worth that will happen is we don't get our feet in bounds. But guess what? We have Devin Hester now. I trust Hester with everything. Right here, guys. Tyree kill drag. Just going to go out of bounds. Don't want to fumble. A little bit of flood action. We have a wide open touchdown. Chat was screaming at me. Throw the touchdown. Throw the touchdown. Throw the touchdown. I'm going to show the chat real quick. It's right here, guys. We've seen the touchdown on the first plate. But best believe you don't give it to me again. He sends everyone. We almost had the touchdown. But we get screamed at. That was good defense, I guess you could say. I had everything open, but I was tunnel vision on the streak. And let's see if he does it the third time in a row. They always say third time is a charm. Do we believe it? Yes, we do. We finally throw the touchdown. Shout out to the chat. Chat never misses a read. Chat never lies until they lie. Sometimes you love the chat. Sometimes you hate the chat. Cover four is not the defense. We gave up this post again. I want to say three or four two times we've given it up and look at me i put my hands in the air like i just don't care because we cannot play defense we mix it up with a little bit of man coverage and that kind of looks well um sorry for that graphic on the right side but you know man coverage look pretty decent right there won't lie to you guys we're gonna blitz and perfect blitz setup i don't know who he was throwing it to maybe the flat on the left side but nonetheless here we go third and six big play right here we try to send a blitz. No one comes free. Right side open. And he gets cheated. And he decides to kick three. Very questionable. Psych! I lied. Your defense is fried. Kyle Pitts, gold. I'm, I want to say he's gold. We're going to have to run that back. Just the biggest of bruh moments. We're in regular defense sipping on our water. He fucking fakes it. Excuse my language. I still can't believe he did this. And yeah, at this point in time, I'm like, you got it, bro. Bam knows that you can't kick threes in this game. I thought, honestly, he should have done it again. That would have been hilarious. I was not ready for it. Controller was, I was even playing the game. I mean, how does normal defense give that up? Right here, man, we decide to run the ball. We want to get out of here. We want to clock the game. We somehow have disordered hot routes when we had the ball in the tie game. Momentum, man, it doesn't make sense sometimes. We decide to fall down right there. And like I said, man, I want to make this the last drive. I want to clock all four minutes right here. We're going to run the ball. And this inside zone split out of Carolina Bunch. I know a couple bunch offsets have it as well. It's pretty good. You guys got to implement it into your scheme if you're running any type of Carolina, Indianapolis bunch, even Eagles bunch. People spread their D-line and you're going to be able to gash them for a solid four yards at a time. It's just one of those runs you can't blow up in the backfield. And, you know, um, something like outside zone, outside sweep, it's just not the move. Um, you know, if bunch has a good run, like those type of bunches are really effective. As Right here, we're going to hit those uh oj howard on that flat fall down i could have made it maybe the third and one third and inches but you know i just want to get my first sometimes it could get tricky you never know how it works people sometimes send everyone and you see right there on the top we have a thousand people watching skimbo end up raiding us hosting us so shout out to skim and ends up turning into a hell game right here at the end it's right here we're gonna set up the verticals man we're gonna set up the verticals uh psych i meant to say the double post and we fall down right on third and inches just the perfect scenario first down here is going to seal the game we're going to end up kicking three and getting on out of here with the dub let me know what your play call is right here i know everything is going to be open nonetheless are you in goal line running the ball are you passing sticking to your scheme are you just running a normal play just like you always do for me i'm doing the same thing and we have disordered hot routes man this is what you don't want to do on your third and inches to seal the game. I probably should have called the play and passed still. That would have been hilarious content because you probably still can't. But like, look at this, bro. We end up running the ball, get the first down. 
GG's in the chat. It's right here, man. Final play. We decide to actually pass now. And we're going to hit this flat route. Get our first down. Fall down. Actually, we were on conservative at this time. So we were not going to be able to fall down. And Bam is going to quit. But just talk about an offensive shootout. Both of us have 400 plus yards. 42 to 42. GG's in the chat to Bam. Uh, we're, I'm so far played him three times. I've won two. Uh, lost one. He's beat me the last time. This offense is too tough to beat. And yeah, man, I love the hell game. So shout out to my guy. Appreciate y'all watching that game, man. If you want more content like that, hit that sub, like button, comment what you guys want to see next. Got some crazy gameplays coming up. Devin Hester, uh, you know, debut, and then a George Kittle debut. Till next time, guys. Take it easy. Much love to y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. I'll catch you guys next time.